Hi, Virginia will call again. Fruitvale Daily Log. I call it Fruitvale Daily Log because I live in Fruitvale and I have a lot on my mind and I like to log my thoughts because I'm not allowed to have a journal or a diary because that will get stolen from me nightly. So I have to log it somehow so I put it up on YouTube. And uh, fortunately they can't delete my YouTube videos so at least I have my thoughts there that they can't take away from me by robbing me every day. Um, so yeah, robberies occur in Oakland to everybody. It's a part of life, right? So, but, you know, it's okay. But my uh, gripe is not about that right now. Uh, what I'm thinking about is um, thoughts and thoughts and thoughts processes. But I want to know is, I call it code of ethics. Or not code of, what's the best word? Criminal ethics. I love to teach a class someday on this subject. It's called criminal ethics. You know why? Because every time you have um, every time you have a um, event anywhere occur, right? So this event will be like let's just call this an event. A um, I do something, you do something. But if we do to something together, we have to agree on something together, right? Any person anywhere in the world. So if I do something and another person does something, if they're doing the same thing as me, then we can get together and do things together, right? That's called camaraderie, friendship, whatever you want to call it. But Or even work together means like you could be just business rather than anything else, right? In order to do business together, in order to do anything together as people, where you have more than one person working on something, you need to agree on a set of rules. and Or agree on a set of guidelines or goals, something together, right? So for instance, if we're building a house, 10 people are building a house. Well, they all have to agree on whatever it takes to build a house, right? They have to write it down, they have to like figure it out. Same thing with living spaces, right? People living in an area have to agree to a set of rules. We should write those rules down so that everybody obeys the same rules, not just one person, right? And then that way, everybody has a chance to say so. If you don't voice your opinion, then your opinion is not counted. That's the way it goes, right? So you should be able to voice your opinion without being rude or discouraging, right? and still respect who, I, I call it whoever comes there first has first say whoever's been there first they have first say always it's respect of elders as you call it or you know to me you have to give respect to somebody who's the, um, you know in an area first absolutely fucking -lutely. there's nothing you can change that about I was raised differently by my parents that you give respect to people like you always listen to people even if you're one minute older than I am, I'll still listen to you because out of respect. Um, so anyways, skipping forward, the rules are important because that's how a human society works. America has a different set of rules than China, for instance, right? Bangladesh has a different set of rules than here. Nevada has a different set of rules than California. Alameda County has a different set of rules than fucking, let's say, San Francisco County. Right, but also there's there's not just rules. There's certain things, certain people make laws, right? Laws are all stuff about what society as a big time has to agree upon. Don't murder somebody; it's illegal. Okay, sure, whatever, right? But don't like piss in the wind or something, right? Don't swear at your neighbor. Don't fucking um, do bad things or whatever. But there is also criminal laws too code of ethics if you may <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite I'm a criminal absolutely I'm a bigger criminal than most people but like you know I've learned my lessons in life and so I calm down <laughs> I used to do lots of bad things in my youth but anyways um, now that being said as I have gained experience as a criminal I have learned to follow a set of rules as a criminal because you can be either a criminal or you cannot be a criminal, it doesn't matter. My definition is this, 
if you've ever done something wrong in your life, then you're a criminal. If you've never done anything wrong, like Mother Teresa didn't do anything wrong, you become a saint, then you're not a criminal, right? Even the Supreme Court Justice, this white dude with like huge hair sticking out of his chest, I forgot his name, um, I, he never committed a crime in his whole life. No, nothing. And then one fine day he comes to Oakland, I fucking catch him jaywalking on video. So I'm like, yes, you did commit a crime, sir. <laughs> Not being picky. But anyways, point is this. Everybody's a criminal around me that I know of. That's great. We're all comfortable with it. Because you have to bend the rules. You have to bend the law to get around to survive. You have to survive. In order to survive, you have to do certain things to survive. It's okay with me. One of the laws is that I've learned, because I've been to jail so much, in jail, they teach you different things than they teach you out here in the real world, I guess. One of the things in jail you learn, the fastest thing you learn about respect is you do not meddle in other people's business. If shit is not your own business, then you don't talk about it. Right? So if, for instance, somebody right next to me gets murdered, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> really. As long as the person is not my friend or whatever, I don't get it. Not even a friend. They have to be my mom and dad, really. Otherwise, I don't care. Um, I've had somebody shot right next to me. I didn't give a fuck. You just don't say anything. Move on, right? So, but the thing is, you have to understand that that's called... There's, there's a term in jail also you learn. Snitches and bitches always end up in ditches. And that's true because... I'm not in a ditch yet, so I must not be a snitch, right? Or a bitch. But the thing is, uh, how it works is this. People don't understand the difference between snitching and bitching, right? Snitching is when you talk about somebody to get them into trouble, and it's nothing to do with you. For instance, I go rob Home Depot right now, right? I go over there, and I steal the tough shed. Okay, if I start stealing that tough shed, and you are a Home Depot employee, and you're on duty, even then you can't talk about it. You can't say shit. But if you're Home Depot security, and you see me stealing that shit, then yes, you could do shit, right? Because it's your job. But if I go over there right now to steal the shed at Home Depot, and I see some person walking by, like random do-gooder walking by, and he starts calling the cops on me, like, hey, look, he's stealing the tough shed. That's fucked up. That's called snitching. It has nothing to do with you, dude. Leave it alone, right? But if he calls the cops on me, and he doesn't even know me, or has anything to do with me, that's called snitching. To get me into trouble. Not to help me. That's the difference. Now, if somebody is laying there bleeding on the side of the road, and they are asking for help, like, help me, help me, call for the ambulance, call for help, right? I look around and fine, I may call for help if somebody's like bleeding, etc. right? That's allowed. If they directly ask you for help and you, you choose to help them, it's okay to do so. You could choose not to help them too. That's okay too. Like, you know, if somebody's getting whooped on, like I, I go to downtown Oakland all the time. I saw this, like 20 people wailing on this one dude. I don't give a fuck why they're wailing on him, right? I keep walking. but. If that one dude asks me for help, I'll wait until they're done wailing on him. Yeah. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> but point is this. If somebody's dying or something and they're asking for help and say, Hey, can you call for help? If I don't have a phone, I don't, right? But if I do, sure. Because now it's directly involving me, asking me, right? That's not sinking. But now if I call for help, meaning... I call an ambulance for a person, it's cool. But if I start to call the police, it's not cool. Because that's still snitching. Now, bitching. Bitching is when people talk about people when they're not there to defend their point of view. Meaning, if I specifically talk to somebody in person, not randomly venting into the wind, but like right now, if I were to just start yelling and screaming into the wind, I'm not talking to anybody, but I'm just randomly screaming and shouting, it's okay to do that. It's called mental health. I have a lot on my mind. I like to get it off sometimes. Like, ah, 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 scream and shout it off, right? It's better than being violent. It's better than being angry. 
It's better than hitting somebody, right? It's better to just get it off your chest, go right ahead, <laughs> scream and shout. <laughs> it's okay. But, you know, the thing is, if I specifically say something to somebody right next to me, and I'm having a conversation with somebody, let's just say Bob is standing next to me, and Bob and I have a conversation, and I say, hey, Sally is being a bitch, because Sally did this, and Sally did that, and Sally, blah, blah. like, you know, it's gossip, if you may. Like, old ladies doing gossip is bad, but gossip is gossip. Now, if I, instead of gossip, start saying shit like, you know, Sally stole something from me. Or Sally is a thief because she did this and this and this. That is bad, right? Because Sally is not there to defend herself. Sally doesn't even know I'm talking about her, right? But if I change somebody's viewpoint, like, you know, about somebody else, that's bad. So talking shit about somebody is okay. But talking shit in a way that gets the other person in trouble, that's not okay. So, again, to summarize, snitching is when you talk about people to get them in trouble, when it has nothing to do with you, when it's not your business, what you're, you're getting them in trouble over. Bitching is when you talk shit about people, is okay, but when you talk stuff about people that's not true, or they're not there to defend themselves, that's called bitching. And that's it. That's the differences. Now, if somebody is, for instance, is attacking somebody, like you make it personal about somebody, then it's not snitching, then it's not bitching, then it's personal, right? So if I personally get robbed, right, on the spot, and I see who robbed me instantly, like if I, somebody holds up a gun to my face and steals my car, right, and my wallet, and my phone, and my cash, and almost shoots me in the head, right? And I barely get out alive. Should I just sit there and take it? I have no friends and family. Should I, what, what should I do if somebody robs me with a gun and takes off with all of my shit, right? What do I do? Well, there's two things you could do. You could do things that the normal society has in place, with rules, or some people say, no, 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 you shouldn't do that, okay? Then what should I do? You tell me what to do, and I'll listen to you. And if it doesn't work, then next time I'm not going to listen to you. Then you have no right to say so. So here's one of the rules, is that people get confused these days. Children, like I call them baby gangsters, right? Baby gangsters grow up, they don't know the OG rule set. Original gangsters know the rules. They need to teach the little gangsters the rules. Because... If somebody robs you, it's personal, you can do whatever the fuck you want to get settlement, right? But you should speak the truth, not lies, right? So if somebody robbed me, like today I got robbed, right? And it's okay, because, but it's not okay at the same time, because I've been robbed so many times I got fed up, right? But the point is this, like, I'm in a room, another person's in the room, right? And then, I know that I had certain things with me, and all of a sudden, those are certain things are missing, right? So, I look around, and I'm like, what do I do? I ask the other person, and the other person, before I could even get to the other person, has gone somewhere else, and done certain things, and then come back, and, you know, denies. So, the thing is, I'm a man, I don't hate women, right? I'm a man, I will not touch a woman, it's a fucking thing, I will not strip search any woman, ever. That's demeaning and not allowed. That's just me though. Right? So, the thing is, all I can do is ask. But now, I know the fact that, like, if the person who's robbed me, hypothetically, because I could have misplaced my things, that's why I double check everything, like, everything, right? But I only have a few things, I double checked everything. So I assume that, you know, that, then I, what do I do? I let the other person know what I'm going to do, right? I'm like, I need to call for help. If I don't call for help, then I'm not going to get help, right? But previously, the baby gangsters used to tell me, 
don't call the police, right? Don't call the police. Okay, if I don't call the police, are you going to go recover my shit when it gets stolen? No, you're not, right? Because I tried it before. Baby gangsters don't do shit. They just talk shit. That's the difference between OGs and BGs. OGs talk shit? No, OGs do shit. BGs talk shit. That's the difference, right? So, that being said, if you get robbed, you're supposed to call the police. If the things that are being robbed from you are of value to you, right? Because the police are the only people that can scare the shit out of somebody to returning your shit before you even go do anything. That's exactly what I had in mind. So I ran over, called the cop. No, I didn't call anybody. I just walked over there and asked, hey, you know what happened? And did you see anybody take your shit? No, I didn't see anybody touch my shit. But the things are missing, right? So I walked back. By the time I walked back, I found my things right out here. That's okay. I walked right back over there and I said, can you please stop the call or whatever, right? Because I found my things. I guess I must have misplaced them outside. Can you please call, cancel? Okay. Now, if I had not done that action, my shit would have been gone. Just like my phone's been gone for so long. I, I, I learned my lesson from like my phone being stolen, my driver's license being stolen, my debit card being stolen. Because I keep getting told by baby gangsters don't call for help. Go, don't call the police when your shit's stolen. Or my laptop gets stolen, no, nothing happens. These baby gangsters don't do shit. They just talk shit that they'll help you. Because I followed their escalation methodology, as they call it, or their rules, and their rules gave me nothing. And five minutes after I fucking followed the normal rules of human society, I got my shit back. <laughs> right? So... There's proof that baby gangsters don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Original gangsters don't steal shit from homeless people. OGs don't ever steal shit from homeless people. And if they do, they don't repeat it over and over and over again. They don't torture people by like systematically stealing their shit over and over again. It's okay. Once to steal somebody's shit, I understand. I brush it off too. If you've robbed me once or twice, I forgive you. It's okay. Shit happens. You needed it more than I did. Blow me, go on, you know? I don't care who you are. I forgive you. But if you keep robbing me nonstop, that's not cool. Like, sickness, right? So that's being said. Those are the rules. Snitches and bitches always end up in ditches, but don't listen to the baby gangsters because they don't know a fuck on thing about snitching and bitching. They don't even know the definition. So don't listen to baby gangsters. Always listen to your parents. And always listen to elders, always listen to your neighbors, and never fucking listen to baby gangsters. Thanks. <laughs>